report out that Jason Adam will be traded to the Padres. Of course, we know Randy Arozarena was sent to the Mariners and Zach Eflin to the Orioles. Jason Adam was an anchor to that bullpen. But Eric Neander told us, listen, what this should tell you is that we have excitement for the prospects that we acquired. It's Sean Armstrong to begin, and he's been very good in this role. Fastball slider pitcher for the most part with cutters mixed in. He's given up three earned runs in 10 innings as an opener. Bounce to third. Paredes. Gone in the first. And he smokes that <laughs> ball up the middle. And it changes things in so many ways because when he gets on base, what's the domino effect of that speed lying in wait? Well, there is, I mean, listen, everybody's radar. He's on everybody's radar. The red flags go up. This is a guy who leads Major League Baseball with 51 stolen bases. There he goes. Pitch called a strike. Throw down tails of it. Squirts out of the glove. And there is a baseball best 50 second swipe for Ellie De La Cruz. Well, and, and again, it goes back to number one, he's an outstanding base stealer, the best in Major League Baseball, but he had a huge lead. And you see where he is at and with his jump, there's just no chance. The Reds on pace to steal nearly 230 bases this year. De La Cruz breaks on the bouncer to second. He is third with two down. Only two teams in the wild card era have gotten to the double century mark of steals in a season the Rockies in 96 the Mets in 07 weak bouncer right back to Armstrong the shovel to first so he works around the De La Cruz base hit and the Rays tangling with the Reds all star hurler in Hunter Green well making his 21st start of the season win loss record at seven and four the ERA of three point one four however his last three starts covering 20 innings he's given up just seven hits and one earned run. First pitch lifted to right. Austin Slater went away. 0 2. Slapped to left. Steer over. A couple of fly ball outs. And so you try to go off the plate away from him, and he does a pretty good job of laying off those. Broke his bat. De La Cruz, bit of an in between skip, handled cleanly. Oh, nine pitch AB, but a one, two, three first inning. I think if you know Randy, that doesn't surprise you at all. But BA, I remember you saying on the broadcast, you've never seen something like that before. And it just kind of explains what Randy meant to this entire fan base and this team, guys. Ground ball to third, Candelario grounds out. You can feel and see that connectivity. I can imagine him right now, arms crossed with a big beaming smile. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it almost feels lonely in left field right now. throw from Isak Paredes. He had to back up a bit on that ball and didn't quite step into it clean. Santiago Espinal shoots one to right. Low on the dive, no catch. That was trapped in Fairchild and later Bray cleanly gets to second two on. A little flare that just dumped in. You could see that ball clearly get to the turf. Trying to make a play, not quite able to do it. There's the quick call. Foul tip strike three. Boy, how about that? That the game plan obviously right there. Crowd with the fastball. Then he goes upstairs. And now Austin wins, who began his big league career in the American League East with Baltimore. Up the middle. That is through base hit. Wave is on a third for Fairchild. Scooped by DeLuca in center. Flick goes to third. Fairchild scores. Wins caught in a rundown. Snap to first. Fire up to second. Espinal breaks for home. Fade throw. Now the toss to the plate. The tag. And he is out. The Reds get a run. And then a gap ball first nearly yields a score, but the Rays stay calm and get the final out. Lucetta holding that glove right up in front of his face as the right-hander turns, and he deals. There's a line drive into right center field. De La Cruz rounds first aggressively. Here he goes, and he is a dead out at second base. 9-6 on the put out, so single and the dime for Josh Lowe. you got to be accurate with that tag, too, and he got him right there on the tip of that left the hand is sliding into second base. Swing and a miss. Got him on the hands with a good sinker. And down on strikes goes Stevenson. DJ Kitty's working the camera. Getting everybody involved. Diaz saw one pitch fly to right his first time. Bouncer back to green. I'll tell you what, as good as Hunter Green's stuff is, I have been more impressed with his command today. Rolled right side, India. Green on the cover. He was a shortstop in high school. To third base, Espinal. Reds are still up one to nothing. Hunter Green has been dealing. He has retired the first 12 batters that he's faced over the first four innings. The pitch. He swings and pops it high into the air, right field. Slater looking up into that roof, and he will make the catch. Fly ball to right. 
only his second full count of the game and there's the first base runner. Now perfection lost on the two out payoff to Richie Palacios. There he goes and that pitch in that got him. So no need for the steal because Johnny DeLuca is hit by pitch. Smash to center Fairchild going back. It's another loud out to center. Two hardest hit balls of this game delivered by Ellie De La Cruz. And there's his third base knock of the day. He is now three for three. De La Cruz goes first pitch up and away. Throw down. Safe again. His second steal. There he goes again. Pitch tail down and away. Tall throw. And he slides safely. Paredes crashed down into him. Yes, he did. Ellie thankfully smiling. Looks like he's all right. Fifth time in his career, fourth time this season. He has stolen three bags in a game. That draws the infield in. Ground ball to third. De La Cruz comes home. Gordon is there. Applies the tag. He's out. They'll take the trade on the fielder's choice. An outstanding start in progress for Hunter Green. Just the three strikeouts. A lot of early in the count outs. De La Cruz way out. Preserves the no hit bid. Brandon Lau, who was fly to left, bounced to second. And he smokes one through the right side, spoils the no hit bid. As his foot got healthier, he has started to step into and thunder the baseball again. Yeah, he really has. I mean, his last 34, 35 games, he's got 11 home runs. Runners go, swing, and foul tip, strike three. Cash is in the strikeout when he needs it. The All Stars for Cincinnati, Hunter Green and Ellie De La Cruz. A dominant day while the Rays' bullpen has been up to the task. Bounce to second. Two down. Slap to third. Backhand Espinal longer throw. On time, on target. Two out hit for the Rays, but DeLuca stranded in scoring position. This one tapped to third. Paredes. Bouncing throw gets away. A lighter lead for De La Cruz. Now takes off. Swing and miss. Throw down from his knees. Bounces away. Cruz burst for third. His second career four steal game. Steal E2. And now he's 90 feet away. Steer skies straight away center. DeLuca. Check swing roller. Espinal lets it roll. It hits the bag. Fair ball base hit. That was the only play. And it's downstairs that'll load the bases. So a ground out began the inning. But walk, steal, infield hit, double steal, walk. So two out, and the base is loaded for Ahmed Rosario, who is hitless today. Payoff again. Swing and miss. It gets by. Wins can't find the ball. Caballero scores, and it's tied. He got the swing and miss, but it skips as the team were seventh wild pitch on Cruz's campaign. It's even. Well, Lucas Sims on for the 42nd time comes into the toughest of spots here. Bases juice, no margin for error. He takes ball four, and the Rays have their first lead of the game. A 2-1 edge, three walks on the inning. The Rays have been gifted a couple of runs. They'll take them. And now ahead 2-1 in the ninth, their closer, Pete Fairbanks. On for the 38th time, 19 out of 21 in the save department, ERA 3.19. Smoked up the middle, broke his bat, skips into center. So the Reds cling to life. Pinch hit, knock for Fraley, who's a threat to run. And two again. Strike him out. Change up freezes him. Fairbanks shuts it down. He bolts down his 20th save. The Rays have won four straight series.